Hey everyone, this is Corey with Stafford ZDC, and today I'm going to be giving you my review on the Fist Bladeworks variant uh, 2.0. Now this is the production version, so it is a variant PE, and this is sporting a set of titanium scales. QSP is the OEM for these, um, and uh, yeah, they, there was a pre-order run at the beginning of May, for these in a couple different configurations, uh, black wash blade with JG10. Uh, there's also a uh, blue denim micarta, as well as the titanium versions. I decided to order a titanium version, and um, I kind of wish I ordered a uh, micarta version, but um, you know, not really an issue there. Um, probably find someone to trade with or something like that, and I'll get into why momentarily. But for now, let's just do a little bit of a size comparison. Um, I'm just going to bring in the bug out today. I don't feel like digging out the um, the Victorinox here. It's buried underneath some stuff. I, my desk is a mess over that way. So you can see here the size, though. It's definitely on the smaller side of a knife. It's not tiny, though, by any means. You know, bug out being a fairly average size knife, you can see it's just a little bigger in the handle and slightly longer in the blade. Uh, overall, it's a really good size. The ergos are super solid on these. You have this nice cutout here, this kind of signature of uh, of Jacob Blomquist, the uh, the designer here. So you can see that nice little sway back design, and it's super comfortable in hand. Whether your middle finger or your uh, ring finger, sorry, middle finger or pointer finger, is in the uh, choil there. Very, very comfortable and super easy to cut with. These are gonna be run in a 14C28N, which is a great budget steel. Um, all the variants of these are under $100 as well, so a budget knife for sure, uh, even with the titanium scales. The pre-order, I believe, was $89, and I think the retail price is gonna be um, $99, so still under $100. Uh, I might be incorrect about that. Um, these will drop eventually on his website as well as some other places um, looking probably at about August or so uh, from my understanding. Uh, the ergos, like I said, are great and the blade is really nice. The, um, the change from the first version of this is that there's now a stone wash finish instead of a satin finish and uh, they chose to change it to that because the satin... Um, Satin finish shows scratches really easily, and 14C28N scratches extremely easily. Um, the one I had, uh, which maybe I'll find out who I sold it to and try and buy it back. Um, the one that I had, um, it had a ton of scratches just from going through cardboard. And I know that cardboard's, you know, not the most friendly material to knives, but it, uh, yeah, it definitely showed a lot of wear because of that. Uh, the titanium scales make it a little bit heavy for me. I don't have a scale handy. I didn't weigh it. I'm sure the uh, the weight is on his website, which I'll, I'll put a link in the description so you guys can check it out. But uh, it's a little heavy for me. It's a really nice knife, don't get me wrong, and it feels great in the hand, but for something this size, I'd like it to be just a little bit lighter. And at the end of the day, these are just two big slabs of titanium. There's no milling done to the liners. Um, I don't know if you can see in there, but there's no kind of pocketing whatsoever. And the only pocketing on these scales, obviously, is for the liners to nest inside of. So a uh, little on the heavy side, but it's a budget knife. I mean, you're asking a lot in terms of uh, wanting to get titanium uh, lightweight under 100 bucks it's it's tough to do so certainly not a knock on the knife or the price at all just personal taste for me now overall i mean like i said it cut really nicely uh, this is good in either hand it's super easy to deploy using either the hole for your thumb or middle finger or the new front flipper that is part of the second version here uh, all the deployment methods work great and the action's nice and good. This one's a little bit stiff. Um, just, this is a prototype. It's not a production sample or anything. Uh, so some issues that I found with this one is that there's just a touch of detent lash. You can see the, you can see the blade moving. 
So some detent lash. It's a uh, it's something that doesn't bother me a ton, but it's certainly noticeable. I do know it's there, um, especially when you're gonna go to use the thumb. You can really feel it like this. And sorry, I apologize. I'm always over here in frame. This is not centered on my desk. My whole setup here. So um, I can really feel it with my thumb though, and I can also feel it when I go to use the middle finger flick. Uh, the most noticeable, I would say, though, is the front flipper because there's no tension on it, and then you push, and you feel it start to move, and then there's resistance again, and then it flips open. And I believe the uh, the lock bar on this one is just a little on the stiff side. Uh, it's providing pretty good detent. Uh, the detent could stand to be a touch softer, but it's just a preference level thing. It's uh, not overly hard or anything. It's actually a really solid detent. Um, just would like to see that lock bar pressure a little bit lighter because this liner is thin. It's not the most comfortable to disengage, especially lower down the liner. Whereas normally to get um, you know a liner lock knife to drop, you might want to put your thumb really low. This one I found going all the way up into the corner, up into here, is uh, the best way to do it. Uh, the most comfortable way in my experience. And left-handed is really, really easy to just kind of pull that to the side and close the blade. So a really cool knife and uh, some neat innovations here with the second version. I'm a big fan of stone wash over the satin. The front flipper is a nice addition. And of course the introduction of the titanium scales is uh, really cool to just bring the budget knife up a level. Um, if you didn't have one of these the first time around, uh, when they eventually drop for sale, uh, once the shipment comes in, you should absolutely get one of these. They're fantastic knives. Probably my budget knife of the year last year. Uh, though, I, like I said, it didn't stick around. But a really, really great knife overall. Uh, so kind of a rambly little review here. But it cuts really well. The ergos are pretty solid. Uh, the designer is an awesome guy. And it's just a really cool knife for a really good price. So with that being said, I'm going to leave you guys off here. Thanks so much for watching and have a great rest of your day. Take care.